How many of the businesses have to onboard customers and verify identity using biometric verification? Sometimes they need to have a manual visa verification process, which can get time taking and quite challenging. It is a very common scenario in organizations like banks. Not only it is specific to banks, but other organizations also need this sort of identity verification so that they can reduce frauds and perform a great customer onboarding. Amazon recognition allows you to mitigate fraudulent attacks and minimize onboarding friction for genuine customers through a streamlined identity verification process, which results in an increase in customer trust and safety. Hi, my name is Smitha and I'm a cloud architect with AWS Professional Services. And today I'm gonna to walk you through how you can incorporate a seamless identity verification process in web apps using Amazon recognition. So let's get started. Let me start by explaining you the user flow. Firstly, organizations need to register new users. If they want to include facial recognition capabilities, there are two options. They can either do it by taking a face selfie or register users with an ID card like a driver's license. The second option gives you one more level of security to prevent fraudulent attacks. Once the users are registered, they can log in and then they will be matched against the database to find out if they are authenticated or not. Let's also quickly discuss the architecture of the solution as well. So in this, we have our web app or user portal hosted in Amazon Amplify, which calls API gateway endpoints with different user actions like register with selfie, register with ID card, and authentication. API Gateway uses a service integration to run the step function express state machines corresponding to the specific endpoint call from API Gateway. With the neat step, Lambda functions are responsible for triggering the correct set of calls to and from Amazon DynamoDB to save phase data. The final major component of the solution is Amazon recognition. Each flow, which is authenticate, register with um, selfie or register with ID card, calls different Amazon recognition APIs depending on the tasks. Also, Amazon Textract is used to extract the user data from the ID card. Again, if you're using a different web portal, what you, do, what you need to do is make the API call to API Gateway Endpoint and that'll be all. Now the entire solution is available in our AWS samples GitHub repo, and there is a blog post as well that describes all of this in detail. So let's start how the solution can be deployed and how you can use the solution. So first you have to deploy the stack. Um, the stack is available in our AWS samples GitHub repo, and I'm gonna point you to that as well. And it's also linked in the blog post that I talked about earlier. So um, that's the first step. Second, we are going to clone this repository. And this is mainly done to run the Amplify app locally. So it has two steps. First, of course, you have to clone the, the, the sample, um, the GitHub repo. And then second, you have to create an env.local file where you're going to um, point to the API gateway endpoint that's that's created out of the stack. And third, you have to just run npm install, and this is mainly to install all the npm related libraries and packages. And finally, we're going to launch this um, Amplify app locally by running npm start. So let's uh, let's look at the, how you can deploy the stack. So I have. Um, this blog, which I'll be linking in the in the video as well. But this blog talks about the different things that I've explained before. And this is one click launch option here as well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna launch this stack in North Virginia region, which I have already done. So this is the stack that I have deployed in my North Virginia region. And now if I just go into the stack, it has created, um, some of the resources that the entire application needs. 
which you can just understand in the resources section. But then it is also created my API gateway endpoint, which is this. So I'm just going to copy this because I'll need that in um, in future when I'm pointing my Amplify local app uh, to, to, to work against this endpoint. Now, um, the second thing is, again, I want to show you the uh, repo. It's recognition identity verification repo, which is there in AWS sample. And it talks about a lot of stuff in here as well. So what I've done is I have cloned this repo and um, it's here. So um, it has different different sections again. Now what I have to do is I have to install um, the NPM packages. So for that, I'm going to go to, and it's only for the front end. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to um, the source section and the front end section. And I'm going to just install the, the packages. So I'm just going to pause this video um, until all the packages are installed. So now my packages are installed. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create the env.local file. So um, let me go back to um, the repo and I'm just going to copy this, this uh, content for the env.local file. And now I'm going to create my env.local file in the front end folder. Again, I'm going to replace this um, this API gateway endpoint with mine. So I'm going to go back again to my CloudFormation uh, stack. And then from the output section, I'm just copying this um, API gateway endpoint again. And I'm going to just delete this part. And paste it. That's it, I've saved it. And now we can run um, the, the Amplify app locally with NPM start. Let's do that. And it's launching the Amplify app. Cool. That's launched. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm also go going to open another console here. And what I'm going to show you that show you is if we just do a list collection, list um, collection on the recognition for this, we have um, um, the collection named as RIV prod zero. So all these uh, accounts that you're going to create and all the images that you take from here are going to go to that, um, this particular collection. So let's just create first. So first, what I'm going to do is I'm going to register myself um, using just a selfie. So let's do that. I'm going to go and click register. And capture my photo just give some login date of birth and then sign up and now it says um, the test user was registered successfully so if I go back to my command line and I I just do um, uh, list faces on this collection that I showed you before. It will have uh, my details in here. So you can see that it was test user and all the other, um, the details about the face, my face was registered here. So let me just log in again now and to see whether um, recognition can detect me. So I'm going to log in again. So I'm just going to give test user here and then click on login.
and says, welcome test user, login successful. But what happens if I just, um, if I just lo log in with some other, some other user ID, so, but with just my face. So I'm going to just give another random user ID. Let's just give test here and then do login. It says incorrect user ID because it's not able to match my face with my user ID, which is correct behavior. Now let's see what is going to happen when I register by an ID. Again, reminding you that, that my collection has my face, uh, has already ha is, is already having my face again. So, you know, I'm just going to click on register. and go to register with ID. And then I'm gonna capture my photo again. And uh, drop my ID card, which is a fake one, but let me use it. And let's give my user a test user ID to then register. It'll since it'll it matches my face with a with an already existing user, even though my user ID was different, it says user already exists. So if I need to register myself with my ID card um, again, then I need to delete my uh, face from the collection. So let's do that and see if this if this works as expected. So um, what I'm going to do is that's the delete face endpoint API call, um, and I'm just going to keep my ID here, which was there. And it's this ID again. And I'm going to delete my face, which I registered before using just a selfie. Now I don't have anything in my, um, in my collection. All good. Now I'm going to do it again. So these all is good. And then I'm just going to register again. So now um, Amazon Textract uh, read all the um, attributes what, that was there in the ID card. It just took my nationality, took my name, and then everything that was there in my ID card and it just created a user out of it, which is test user too. And then if I log in, if I go back and log in again and give my um, user ID and just log in with my face, Give me login to successful. Quite cool, isn't it? Because now, um, since my collection had um, my face, so I cannot just register myself again because it matches my face against that uh, collection. So uh, that's it. I hope you liked the video and I hope you can use the power of Amazon recognition for your identity verification use case. You can either use registration with a selfie or you can also include uh, registration using an ID card such as a driver's license. Thank you so much for watching this video and have a good day.